Welcome to our channel. We are Debbie and Eric, and together we are enjoying life's adventures. We currently work full time, looking forward to an early retirement. In the meantime, we make sure to take the time to play, whether that is staying close by on our boat or taking mini vacations in the travel trailer. So come along with us as we enjoy life's adventures. Two sailors are on a sinking boat with an island a few miles away. One sailor jumps into a dinghy and the other has to swim. Both sailors eventually make it to the island, but who do you think will appreciate land more? Adventures take effort. Hard efforts revere great adventures. In this episode, we are back working on the boat to get to our island adventure. Well, right now, Eric is buffing the boat, trying to get 10 years of oxidation out of the white. He did the red earlier. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but it came out really, really nice and bright, shiny. So, this is the side he hasn't done yet. This is the side he's done. You can see the shine in it compared to the back. Hey guys, so we're buffing and waxing the boat right now and bringing out the oxidation. So I'll show you what 10 years of oxidation looks like on a boat. So right behind me, right there's 10 years of oxidation. Right here is buffed out. So shiny, nice, looks new, that's oxidized. That's what oxidation looks like when your boat just sits there and the gel coat oxidizes. It gets this white chalky film on it. You buff it and wax it and it comes out really nice. Nice and smooth. I'll show you some more close-ups here. Hopefully you can see it. I'm using a, a wool pad with 3M Super Duty rubbing compound. And... That's another angle for it. And Debbie's yelling at me to get to work. All right. So we'll see how often you see her in videos working on the boat. There she is yelling at me. <laughs> she who comes out but once every while. But I'm here. <laughs> You're here. Get to work, stop chit chatting, wax that boat. Wax on, wax off. Only because I missed you. That's the reason why I'm out here. <laughs> now, there must be work to do at home, so that's why you came out here. Getting the waxing done on the boat. Uh, Debbie did the starboard or the port side, so now I'm doing the starboard side. I don't know if you can see behind me. So that's waxed. It's unwaxed. It's actually waxed, but it needs to be buffed. That's waxed. We're using uh, McGuire's, I don't know if you can see this, uh, McGuire's flagship marine wax premium. So, just got to buff the rest of this out and we'll take some, uh, some pictures after. But yeah, definitely can see it. What an improvement. Hopefully uh, she'll be slick in the water. And Washed and waxed. Buffed, washed, 
getting waxed. So here's the project that we got going on. There is no countertop that goes across the stove. So when we're sitting at dock or on the hard, we don't have a top for this. This is a gimbaled stove, so it moves. So what we have, what I've come up with, is I bought this from Menards, and it is a uh, piece of PVC, and it's got a pattern to the one side. Hopefully you can see that, and the other side doesn't. So what I did is I cut out some notches here for the gimbal. And what I'm going to do is, since there's gimbal right there, that's where the notches will sit. And then this will go on top of here, like this. And then I'm going to brace the back underneath. And then what I can do is fold it up, and it'll go into here, like that. It'll go down and probably sit a little bit higher as almost like a backsplash to the stove but I have two handles a handle and a lip so we're going to mount this handle here it's going to go on this, this side of things so that'll be screwed in there that way you can grab it and pull it up drop it right in and then this handle will be out here like this I got the uh, lip on back here it's nice and solid we got the lip on for the front for the board so now you should be able to just set this on there like so it is usable counter space now. I should be able to set a jug of water on it. That's it for this project. And uh, so we got the boat wax today. And we got the kitchen countertop on. I'm pulling out all the liquids out of the boat. Uh, and that way we can shrink wrap it tomorrow. And, or have it shrink wrapped after tomorrow. And then. Uh, and then we, uh, it'll sit for the winter until uh, spring, and then we'll uh, get back at her. We got the boat all winterized. Uh, winterized the the two bathroom sinks, the two toilets, the uh, kitchen sink, the galley sink, uh, the refrigerator drain. And I did not start the engine, so we'll wait until next season to do that. I'm going to come back up here during the winter. We're having it shrink wrapped. I'm going to put a zipper on the back um, where the swim platform and the ladder is so I can get in here during the winter. And what I'm going to do is try to heat up the engine room, uh, get the fluids drained, uh, change the transmission, change the oil, change the fuel filter, change the oil filter and we're going to try to polish the fuel so i'm going to try to do all that this winter um, when the boat's sitting here it is october 4th and we're calling it it is about 40 degrees outside i spent the night on the boat last night it dropped down into the 30s winds were gusting at uh, like 20 21 to possibly 30 and sometimes the boat was just shaking and it's about a, it's in a cradle which is just insane that the winds were so strong last night we're done until uh, spring uh, where we just got to come back I got to do the lines the sheets uh, got to put on the sails and get the motor started. I need to bottom paint the boat uh, next season. We got to tension the rigging. So there, there's not a ton 
to do to get underway, but there's enough to do. And so we gotta be out of the boat yard in May. Hopefully I can get this done and get her going and get her out of here uh, next season early. That's the plans. And then this, this winter, hopefully we can do some adventures uh, and take off and go some places. That's all I got.